Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and today I'm going to be doing the Parks and Rec book tag. I was tagged by, I think it was Ariel. Um, and then I was also tagged by Kate. I really like Parks and Rec. I know they both tagged me quite a while ago, but I've got a backlog of tags that I need to catch up to. So I apologize for that. But without further ado, I'm gonna do it now. So the first prompt is a strong female lead character. So the person that I picked for this was Monza Mercato from Best Surf Cold by Joe Abercrombie. Monza is a really, really well-written female character. I think Abercrombie has shown and continues to show that he can write female characters extremely well. I identified with Monza in certain ways and she's totally badass. And I think she's wonderfully written. A character that you can see yourself dating or marrying. I have no idea. You guys can pick for me in the comments. A character that you didn't think you'd end up loving. Glockter from the First Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. Glockter is a very, I mean, all the characters in First Law are very complicated. They're very morally grey and you can't help but love them one minute and hate them the next. But Glockter in particular, there's just something about him. There's just... I don't know, I'm gonna be doing a video soon on my top five smartest fantasy characters and unsurprisingly, Glockta is on that list. This will probably come out after that video, in which case I will link it down below. He's just such a complex character. You don't expect to like Glockta, but you totally do by the end of it. A grumpy character that's very lovable. Snape from the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling. Snape is super grumpy, kind of mean, but you kind of can't help but love him. I also feel like Snape's like, what I imagine to be Snape's inner monologues, I feel like they would be very similar to my own inner monologues, so. A character that seems to get into a lot of trouble. D'Artagnan from The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. D'Artagnan, like literally the first couple of chapters of the book are him just getting in trouble. And it's quite amusing because he's this, he's with this very brash, young, naive, young man trying to prove himself. And he just ends up alienating a bunch of people and it's quite funny, it's quite amusing. A character that you'd like as your best friend. So I was thinking about this one quite hard because originally I went to someone like kind of Basso from The Folding Knife, but then I think I'm too similar to Basso and I would need somebody to balance me out. So someone like Nobby from The City Watch by Terry Pratchett, because he's so like innocent, he's got this innocence, but then he says these really profound things. And I feel like he would balance me out quite well because I'm quite intense and Nobby is a good person to have, I think, to ask the really simple questions and like remind you why you're doing certain things. I don't know. I think I think Nobby would be fun. I think the other one would obviously be like Sam from the Lord of the Rings by Tolkien, but I feel like everybody probably says that. A book that you don't really care for, pretty much any contemporary romance. I read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren recently and I really did not like it. I just think contemporary romance is not for me. It is what it is. A book that was spoiled for you. So I know of a character death in The Trouble with Peace by Joe Abercrombie. Some absolutely awful person ruined it for me. Pretty sure they did it on purpose as well. And it really annoyed me. And yeah, it happened in a Discord. And I was just, I was so upset that I found out about this character death in that way, but whatever. A character that's dealing with a lot of emotional baggage. Literally every character that I read from Logan to Yorg to Basso to Charlie and Eli's sisters to Nari and Ali from The City of Brass. Like literally any book that I read, all of these people have emotional baggage. That's why I like reading these books. Character that has a lot of swag. Kelsia from the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Kelsia has a lot of swag. You could just imagine like him walking into a room and everybody turning their heads because he's just got this like, he's got this je ne sais quoi that I don't know, I don't think many characters necessarily have. So definitely Kelsia. So there we have it. That was a really quick tag. I got through those questions pretty quickly, but let me know if you would have put anybody different for those prompts. Super excited to chat down below. Otherwise I'm gonna end this video here guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.